everyone, it's your girl Jen, and here I am in my living room about to serve you a fresh plate of favorites because as you know, July is done. I would say that July was probably my most favorite month because it was the height of summer and I was really, really busy. I think this is the busiest month for me so far. Uh, but yeah, enough chit chat, let's get into the faves. Let's start things off with fashion first. Here I have my Spice Girls top. This has become my favorite go-to pajama top. And believe me, I'm really picky with pajama tops because they have to be one, a very, very comfortable, soft material, and two, they have to look good with no bra on. And this top ticks both of those boxes. I really love how the vendor customized this t-shirt by creating this lace-up detail up here. I know that LF sell something quite similar to this for like a couple hundred dollars, but I got this for $25, so definitely a steal. These days, I've been loving to rock that glossy lip, and my favorite lip gloss to use has been Glam Glow's Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Treatment. I love opening this thing because I feel like Inspector Gadget. It took me forever to realize how to open it at first, but I got there in the end. Uh, basically, you twist the ends and then the applicator pops out. What I love about this the most is definitely that shine. It's got a gorgeous, glossy, wet look. It's very hydrating. It doesn't leave your lips like filmy after a couple hours. It just settles in nicely and it just leaves your lips looking really natural and beautiful. This does leave a slight burning sensation on your lips. Uh, it's not painful by any means. Uh, it's just kind of like you have some hot sauce on your lips, which is a sensation that I don't really mind anyway. <laughs> As you all know, I have very short lashes, which is why finding the perfect falsie is a never-ending quest. I have different phases with lashes, and my phase this time is my Blinking Butte. I actually found these lashes in a very organic way. I was in New York, and I realized that I forgot to pack some lashes, so I went on Yelp, and I found this little mom and pop shop in New York, and I found these on the counter, and I knew just by looking at them that I would like them. It's it's like when you know, you know. These are really great because they're more dramatic than the Ardell Debbie Wispy, but less intense than like full on mink ones. I think this is a really good balance and I've been loving to wear these on makeup tutorials or nights out. I'm even wearing them right now. The band is quite comfortable. There are some eyelashes where the band is so thick that you literally can't see the top at all. So these lashes don't impair my vision. I like the way they make my eyes look and that's all I can really say about these lashes. Last month, I went to Toronto for a Fuji film and Castor and Pollux event, and I had a meet up there, and the turnout was amazing. Thank you to everyone that showed up. It was so surreal getting to meet all of you guys, and for those who did show up, I wanna thank you guys because you took time out of your day to come see me, and um, I'm so grateful for that. For those who I wasn't able to meet, I, I apologize. There just simply wasn't enough time to see all of you guys, and I guess that just means that I have to come back to Toronto for something that's a a little bit longer. I got a Fujifilm Instax Mini 70 while I was there, and no, they're not paying me to plug this in at all. Um, I've I've already been a fan of Instax before. I had their old model, which I loved and used, uh, but their new model definitely has some perks. It's a lot thinner, it's lighter, it's got some digital aspects to it. There's different modes like selfie mode, self timer. This is just easier to use, I feel. And this has been a really great way to document my July so far because so much has happened. I got to take a ton of photos in Toronto and my trip to Palm Springs. It's just, so much more satisfying when you have like a physical picture because this world is so digital, like digital reigns. So it's nice to have something that's analog. So I'm gonna squeeze in a TV favorite here and obviously it's gonna be Stranger Things. I had to check it out after all this hype on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. This is one of the rare occasions where the hype is 100% real. Each episode had me clinging onto my sheets and I just wanted, I was like so desperate to finish the season. Me and Ben knocked it out in a span of two days, two or three days and when it's over, kind of wish you just savored it because God, this series is amazing. The show takes place in the early 80s in Indiana and a little boy named Will goes missing and the whole town just wondering where the hell he is. And meanwhile, all this weird stuff starts happening. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. This is definitely pretty scary for me at least. Um, I probably couldn't watch it alone, but it's more of a thriller than a horror, if anything. Uh, but yeah, I am dying for season two. Uh, I hear that it's happening, so I'm pretty excited. 
Obviously, I have to save my most random favorite for the last. Here I have a snack that I've been enjoying. These are called the Paleo Thin Crackers, and I actually learned about them from Chriselle. I was watching her Five Ways She Stays Healthy video, and these crackers were one of the snacks that she was promoting, and I had to give it a try, especially because it only has five net carbs per serving. And before we get into the whole debate of a high carb versus low carb diet, just know that Every body is different, and everybody eats a different diet, and all I know is that I like these crackers. They make me full. I like to eat them with my tomato soup. Ben has been making this, oh, this delicious homemade tomato soup. We got this blender, and you know, when you make tomato soup, you have to put it in the blender because you have to get rid of all the chunks, but Basically, I've been liking to use these crackers in the soup because it's been very tasty. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on my favorites. As usual, if you have any favorites of yours, please write them in the comments down below. I would love to read about it. And as for news, I am heading out to Outside Lands tomorrow for the festival. I'm so excited to be back in San Francisco. The lineup is insane. There's Radiohead, there's Air, there's Lionel Richie, there's Duran Duran, like I can go on, Beach House, I, I, I'm so excited for this music festival. And yes, I will be vlogging, so stay tuned for that. And um, another thing, my hair is lighter. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Anna Lee went lighter on me, and I love it. It's great, and I feel like we're gonna go lighter, even lighter the next time I go see her, because why not? You only live once. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.